In my heart, I love knowing that he's with me. I love knowing he's near. I hope he doesn't disapprove too strongly of what I'm going to do now. How's it going? A couple of us are going over to the goldfish tonight. It's kind of a company thing. Some drinks, a few laughs. You should come. I can't. Working late. Sure you can't cut out early. It'll be fun. Thank you. Some other time, okay? Sure. He's a sweetheart, huh? That's my youngest brother, or rather, was my youngest brother the day of my first wedding. Yeah, my first wedding, I know. Two and holding, thank you. That goes for the divorces as well, two and holding. That's Nikki, waiting for my mom outside the ladies' room. I went on my honeymoon the next day and then moved away all at the same time. I never saw him again. See, within six months, no one would ever see him again. He vanished. Literally. Not a single trace, not even the courtesy of a phone call or ransom note or anything. There was a shoe, not his, near the supposed scene of the abduction. I held on to that shoe for a long time, kept it in my car. I don't know why. His room is still as it was back then. Mom insists on it. It's locked mostly, beds still unmade, furniture and toys as they were. They get dusted, that's about it. Mom is still waiting, she's sure he'll come back. Having made his way in the world with outrageous tales to tell about how he's been in the merchant marine or some such. But he won't. And not even I can convince her of that. He won't. They just never come home. They don't. They unfortunately live forever at the age they disappeared at, all funny and sweet and loving, and not knowing of the horrors of the world, let alone the horrors that befall them for just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I often too often think of him in that moment of taking, that moment of realization. I'm in trouble. Is this really happening? Where's my brother?
I missed him again. It's been years since he tried to wake me. He's back, I know it. He's somewhere. Hello? It's me. Are we on a safe line? Yeah, I'm at a payphone. You must be close then. Not far. A few more hours. Have you found them yet? The first one. Didn't realize he'd be so young. Well, as his organization has grown, he doesn't need to be the one on the streets these days. Besides, young men make for better hunters. Piece of shit. That's right. Hold on to that. Yeah. Hey, you're a good man. You'll be a hero when this is through. Was there anything else? Yeah. Make sure it hurts. Hey, cigarette. Are we there yet? <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead, man. Smoke me up. Nice. So, what are we gonna do when we get there? You'll see. I promise you light me up so I can watch. Naturally. You think we'll get away with it? Whether I get away isn't really the point, is it? I guess not. You could probably always bleed insanity anyways. What makes you say that? You're talking to a fucking cigarette. No judgment. I thought we agreed that was the nature of our relationship. Hey, just saying. One more drag and I'm done, man. I noticed. Don't forget what I said. My ex-wife's home, from the first marriage that I called in sick to. She still writes me from time to time to see how I'm doing. I never respond. It's been years since I've seen her. I have no idea why I'm here. Food's good, Karen. Mm. Thank you. Jeff, you still at the... Uh... Yeah, point. Yep, still there. Good. Good, that's good. Hey, Ali. No texting at the table, please. Um, do you want us to know what time I can go over tonight to study? Not tonight. Why not? Allie, don't start. We have a math test tomorrow. You already said you'd take me before. I know, but... So what? He's not my company. Did you hear what your mother said? Great! So, Mom's creepy ex-husband shows up and now I can't go out? This is such bullshit! Hey! Language! Allison, get back here right now and apologize! You know what? I'll take care of that. You stay here and take care of... Whatever this is.
I'm sorry. She's at that special, obnoxious time in a young girl's life. It's always something. No, it's my fault. I shouldn't have come by like this. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's okay. It's good to see you. But what brings you all the way out here? On my way to a business thing, I, I just thought I should finally stop. Okay. Not for real this time. When I was with you, he was here, uh, with us, around. I just thought maybe he... How are you still doing this to yourself? If I didn't, nobody would. And then he'd be gone for good, and I don't want that. He is gone. Nikki is gone, honey. Look at you. All this time. Everybody loved him. Everybody knows you loved him. But you're right, you've got to stop. No, you don't understand. He's... Do you honestly think that if you were there, it wouldn't have happened? There's nothing you can do to bring him back. He used to talk about the people in the wall, the man on the phone, and, and the lady across the street. He, he was afraid they'd come get him. I don't think he understood about hurting, about how they might hurt him. But just the thought of someone taking him, that was always his biggest fear. The people in the walls were real. The sounds were real. Water pipes, neighbors shouting sometimes. He didn't believe it. The lady across the street was real, Mrs. Doheny. She used to go out for a smoke every night and wave to him. <laughs> you should have seen her. She had this awful beehive here, too. I think that's what terrified him most. The man on the phone, I could never figure out. He'd be standing, listening. If the phone hadn't rung, he'd be just listening. I'd take the phone from him. There was no dial tone. Just static, sounded like the crossing of wires. He'd say, the man wants to come over. I still don't know what that was. Maybe just a bad omen. I should have been there, Karen. You weren't responsible. You have to forgive yourself and move on. Something I never told you. That first year after he... I pretended like nothing happened to him. Just to try and make it work between you and me. I, I used to make myself believe that these two guys saw him and, and said, no, there's a man we can trust. And they scooped him off the street and made him part of this elite underground crime fighting team, you know? Their third, Thirdsy, Thirdsy would have been his nickname. And they'd drive around with him on phone books, letting him point out all the bad people that he needs getting rid of. You, you, I'm sure he meant to call us, but you know how that goes. No matter how much you love someone and miss them. Once too much time passes, it just doesn't make sense to call them anymore. I used to think through these scenarios all day and night, trying to convince myself that it was possible just so I could get to sleep. I wasn't at my best with you. I'm sorry I was absent. You deserved better.
Where are you headed? In the right direction, I hope. Driving long? Huh? Oh, yeah. You look road weary, sorry for saying. Kitchen's closed, but last call's not till two. Can I have a beer, please? Well, we got a few options. What's the popular choice? Big Rock. It's a local brew. Sounds great. I've seen you around before. You uh, checking out some of the local talent? How do I answer this without alarming him? Does he already know? Is this how it starts? Just uh, passing through town. I see. I blew it. 30 seconds and I already blew it. He knows. He goes and makes a phone call. How did this happen? Who the fuck is he calling? Pretty good, huh? Not bad. I took the liberty of calling him for you. That's what you're here for, right? Passing through? You have that nervous first time look about you, but you don't have to worry about that here. But we buy short. Sit tight. They told him I was coming. They thought this through. I just have to finish it. I begin to relax, sip my beer. Everything is set in motion. Sorry to keep you waiting. You're lucky you caught me. I was just headed to catch my flight, but I don't like to disappoint. Who would have had to wait till next week? You know what I expected. What's the point, right? We could talk price later. It's going to cost you, but believe me when I tell you it's worth it. Just tell me what your type is. What about this kid? If he had recognized him, I think I would have killed him right then and there. What I know for certain is that it would have hurt a whole lot less. Hmm. Cute kid. Shouldn't be a problem. What's it, five, six? Popular age. So I, uh, I just need to make a phone call and see how quickly we can turn this around. Usually it only takes a day or two. You'll excuse me a moment? Buddy, I gotta do something now that's not gonna be very nice and I don't want you watching, okay? In fact, I think it's better if you don't come around me anymore. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you, Nikki. Should have been there. 
You should have had a chance to grow up. I know it's my fault. I hope you can forgive me someday. I really miss you, buddy. going on there? This is my fourth fucking message. You do realize we're running a business here. Look, I just missed my flight to be here to take this client. Now I'm gonna go back in there and lose a cell because it was delay on your fucking part? No, stop. Come here, sit down. The fuck down! Don't fucking look at me. Take it easy, bro. Don't talk. Around the house. Jesus fucking Christ, are you okay? I'd worry about myself right now. The keys are in the ignition. Turn the fucking car on. Settle down, cowboy. You just left a room full of witnesses that can easily identify you to the police. That's fine. Maybe they'll have that nervous first time look on their faces when they arrive. Now be quiet and drive. Don't worry, just getting started. You're in way over your head, motherfucker! How the fuck are you? We can help you. Just tell us who you are. I'm not the one who needs help. Untie me! Give me a fucking chance! What's his name? Don't you tell him a fucking thing. Bugs fucking buddy. <laughs> well, clearly that was the wrong way to respond. Clearly. They just don't get it. No matter what he says, no matter what he does, keep your fucking mouth shut. What's his name? I don't give a shit. Where's he from? Doesn't matter. Fuck you. Do you it. take his money, right? You're goddamn right I do. Really? Why is that? Because it's green. <laughs> what was it like? Hearing their cries of fear. You know why they pay so much? Because mm. of their cries. What do you think I like about it, huh? You don't have to worry about that anymore. Jesus, you're starting to scare me. If you don't mind, I think I'd rather not watch. Fine. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, maybe after you've calmed down. Wait, 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 wait. We can talk. We can talk. We can talk. We're talking. I got, I got, I got lots. I got lots of money I can give you. I got it. Take a look. Does he look familiar? His name was Nicky. All this time, all these faces. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna help you. Wait. I'm gonna help you see. Wait, wait. Everything. Wait. wait. Oh, oh! I'm 
lead for a while. And I'll be back when it stops. <laughs> Hello? It's done. Did they suffer? Yes. Good. That's good. We'll take care of the rest. Go home. Try and get some sleep. You're a good man. Thank you for this. Hey there. Hello. So I was wondering if you wanted to come out with us tonight? There's this new bar that they just opened up across the street from my apartment. I really shouldn't. Why not? I uh, have a lot of work to catch up on. I was gone all last week. Hey, Ange. Just a sec. Right. Okay, so. See you next time. Sure. Thanks. said no again. I told you. Why do you keep bothering? I don't know. I just, you look so lonely. Come on. Thank you. I haven't seen Nikki or heard his voice since I got back. I don't feel him around anymore. It amazes me how quiet, quiet can be. The people in the walls are still there, though. They always will be. It's kind of comforting, actually. Loud sometimes, but it calms me. Helps me fall asleep. Thank you.